So one thing, actually, I made a mistake. I didn't go through. I didn't. It was one of those things, as you guys remember, I was trying to get through everything. Um, when we're trying to find the sum or the partial sum of a finite series, we have to make sure there's a couple things. All right. One thing I said that the partial sum, s of n, is equal to a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Right? For a geometric series, that's what I said the partial sum was. Do you guys remember you wrote that down? OK. Now, I did make a mistake in that for this class, I, wasn't, I didn't get into a little bit one key point that actually affects you on this point. This sum is only true when you have n and i equals 1. OK? And then it's in the form of uh, a sub 1 r to the i minus 1. So what I'm trying to tell you is this is only true when obviously you have a geometric rule, rule right here, right? But you have to start at 1 and then go to your n. That's when this works. So you can see we have an issue right here because we're not starting at 1, correct? But we can easily change that, all right? by affecting our rule, all right? So once we know that we have this, we know we need to get it in this format to apply this formula, all right? So how can we rewrite this problem without changing any values, without changing the problem, but how can we rewrite it so that we can start? Well, obviously, we know now that I need to do n equals 1. And then here's still going to be um, 21 to move up to, all right? So now we still have to confirm our 20 terms, right? But if we start at 1, now we've got to go up to 21, correct? All right? And our rule has to be the same. Well, hold on. So remember, the first rule said we put 0 in for this, right? So how can we rewrite this? If now we're putting in 1, how can I still make n go to 0? Yeah, but we, yeah, you could just subtract one, right? Because now if I put in my first term, n minus 1 is 0, which is the exact same thing of me just putting 0 in there, right? And then when I put in my last term, 21, is 21 minus 1 till 20, which would be the exact same thing as me putting my last term, 20, in for there. Does that make sense? OK, so now we have our series. And now you guys, you know, you can know that you're adding up every single term. All, you're starting with 1, evaluating that, adding that up all the way to 21. We don't want to calculate all that stuff. Let's go ahead and use our rule. So now we can use the partial sum, which is going to be uh, a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. Okay. So now we know our a sub 1, which we need to evaluate. So let's do that. So a sub 1 would be 3 to the 3 halves times 1 minus 1, which that's going to go to 0. 3 halves raised to the 0 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So therefore, we're left with 3 times 1 minus 3 halves. Isn't that? Um, 3 halves raised to the, what do I have? Am I, did I write my wrong one? Three halves raised to the first power all over 1 minus r. Oh, I'm sorry. No wonder. I was like 21. I was looking at my notes. N is, your n is 21, not where n equals. That's where it starts. Your n is 21. I'm sorry. I was looking at it. I was like, well, something just doesn't seem right. What is it wrong? Your n is 21. OK, so now let's go and evaluate this a little bit. Did you have to find a sub 1 first before finding a series? Huh? Did you have to find a sub 1 first before finding a sub 21? No, a sub 1 was just right there. I just plugged it in. Ace of 21, n is right up here, the 21. So that's not affecting anything. 
All right, so now let's, uh, let's do some mathematics. Your batteries are low. Okay, three. It's okay. I'll, I'll work with this. Three divided by two raised to the 21st power. Wow, big number. One minus that number. So therefore, now I'm left with three times a negative. And then 1 minus 0.5, or 1.5 is going to be negative 0.5, right? So then we'll do divided by And 29,921. There we go. And there's your sum of 21, which is actually S of 21. OK, cool.